All right, so I just got back from taking all those packages out to um, ship out to influencers for the drop and then also to take those packages to um, the stores that bought bulk before our drop. Now I'm trying to piece together some outfits for uh, Vegas. So for Monday, that's the most important fit. That's the day of the event. Let me know what y'all think of that because I'm kind of rocking with it. I think I'm gonna. I think this is what is gonna have to be worn at the event on Monday, um, just because like the shirt and shoes match. Pants they could be better, but like this is really all I got. I don't really got clothes like that. So if you got a brand and want to send me some clothes, I will rock your clothes. I will rock your pants, your shirts, your shorts, whatever the case may be. Send them to me. Send me a DM on Instagram if you got a brand and want to send me something. All right, so this might have to be my day two fit. Nike shorts, same Malibu shirt, and just some slides. Doesn't match. A little bit, like 80% matches. Um, the brown, you know, it is what it is. Kind of matches the yellow, but I don't really plan on doing too much on Sunday. So I'm just gonna like wear this little chill fit. If I go get something, I go get something. I might have to pick up some more clothes. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I just gotta pack light and this is the only way that that's gonna work. So I got two white shirts. I got th this one and that one. And then I got the Titan shirt for today, the jeans for today and um, Monday, the shoes for today and Monday. And yeah, there's absolutely no way I'm gonna take a hoodie to Las Vegas. It's like a hundred something degrees. Absolutely insane there. No way I can do it, but I do need to get some content. If you are a content creator and want to make some content for upcoming drops, send me a DM on Instagram. I am looking for new creators to consistently be working with. So send me a DM on Instagram. We are in Vegas and it is time to go to the event. Today is Monday. I did not pick up the camera yesterday or do anything. I did do a lot of stuff. I went to a lot of malls. I went, like I walked like 12, 13 miles yesterday. Probably going to do that again today within these three events. But yeah, um, I'm about to head over there right now. It's currently 8.28 and op doors open at nine. Um, I'm gonna be there from doors open to doors closing. So hopefully it's a good day. Hopefully we meet a lot of people, maybe meet some new buyers for stores, whatever the case may be. If you have a store wanna buy, send a DM on Instagram. We would love to work with you. Um, I mean, we are a little selective on who we work with, but there's always that chance we could work together. I'm sure we could work something out. With that being said though, I'm about to go over there because I already know that there's going to be some type of line or some type of wait. It's going to take forever to get in. So I'm about to do that right now and I'll see y'all when we get there and meet some people. Alright, so we are currently in Project and there's a lot going on. As you can see behind me, there's a whole like pickleball, tennis court, whatever the case may be. There's so many different brands in here. I'm going to try and get some shots, of, like just some b-roll with some music or something because a lot of brands do not want your recording because a lot of it is like unreleased product that's not coming out for like another six months or so. So I'm gonna try to get some, some shots for y'all as much as I can. And uh, then I'm gonna head over to sourcing. Yo, so Vegas was absolutely crazy. The whole show was absolutely crazy. I really, really wish I could have showed y'all a little bit more, but I just feel like I was invading privacy and I didn't wanna show too much of unreleased pieces because you know that just like it sucks for like someone who's been like a company who's been working on that spent so much money on it and then like someone just sees it and steals a design so i didn't want to be that guy uh, i didn't really want to invade privacy i mean you know it's a ticketed event so like if you go you go if you learn you learn um but yeah so anyways it was a really crazy show i'm about to explain to y'all everything that goes on in the show and kind of how magic and project works so first up so first up magic is like or magic has like it's mostly women's right so they have like a woman's show there's a whole building just for women's and then there's like so they have that event in new york miami and vegas and nashville um nashville miami new york and vegas so yeah like four spots um, so yeah, they have that for women's and then they have like mag sourcing at magic, which is I think in New York and Vegas only uh, I believe I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me, but yeah um, And then they have project which is only Las Vegas and then they have magic men's which is also only Las Vegas 
super weird it sucks for the men you know and like the men community because it's like we want to be able to see that as well all year round just like the woman's side but i guess that the fashion doesn't move quick as quick as women's so they only do you know two events a year in vegas which is february and august um so i'll probably definitely go in february again um, and hopefully have a booth this time and be able to sell wholesale to however many stores want to come shop with us but yeah i, I talked to some people and stuff's in the works so be on the lookout we know we might have a table or a booth um and try to get some wholesale orders with bigger brands and our bigger companies and stuff like that but yeah so basically um what i did was i went to sourcing at magic found a whole bunch of suppliers like i'm honestly and i'm pretty sure that one was free um but yeah so i'm pretty sure sourcing at magic is free where you can go and like meet literally thousands and thousands of different vendors for whether they're from asia china india you know united states turkey uk london wherever the case may be there's thousands and thousands of vendors that are in there there's like literally there's in their section too like the show is so well organized like they're literally sectioned from like country and then from country they're sectioned by like product so if they if you want to go find hoodies and shirts there's like a whole road just for that if you want to go find a shoe manufacturer whole road just for that in each country like each country is, is um you know set up in a certain way like they have the map set up so well so it's not like you're going back and forth and back and forth um i mean they put their competitors right across from each other right beside each other like it, it's crazy but um I mean, yeah, like that's just kind of how it works. They want you, the consumer to have the easiest, easiest experience to find what they're looking for. And they did a pretty good job at that. I met a lot of manufacturers. Like I have like a stack of cards, like this big, like huge stack of business cards um, from the amount of different manufacturers I found. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't even had a chance to go through and message these manufacturers or look at what they have to offer because there's so many of them and I just have a lot of other stuff to do. But definitely, definitely recommend going to Sourcing at Magic if you are a brand owner or trying to make, you know, some type of short, shorts, shoes, hoodies, pants, whatever the case may be. Go find that manufacturer there and feel the quality in person, talk it up, meet them in person. A lot of them uh, that got my contact took a photo with me and then send it to me and saved it as like the profile picture. That way they know who I am and that way we can build up a long-term relationship. Super smart on their part. Um, I mean, you know, like hopefully I do work with some of them. Like currently I'm pretty locked in with my, my manufacturers. Like I really found a, a good one um, over there, which is really hard to do. But hopefully I do work with one of these people soon on like a certain type of product. But yeah, um, and then whenever you go to Project, so Magic Men's is tiny. It was like full of like suits and like really cheap men's products. And then Project is like a little more, you know, luxury, mixing with skatewear, streetwear, kind of like the higher ticket products like Valabasis, uh, let's see, Market, um, just like bigger brands. I mean, I don't really know all the, the brands that were there, but yeah, kind of stuff like that, you know, the more popular, like well-known brands. Um, and then they also have like stages in each like section of the event. So like there's a stage at sourcing, which is like talking about like the, you know, ecosystem economics, like what to look for for new trends, what, you know, type of materials are gonna take off and just kind of all that stuff. Uh, and then like in project they have you know someone speaking it's it's basically speakers at every single event all three days it is a three-day show so it's like you can go in there and you can find a lot and learn a lot like you spend a lot of time I was in there from 9 a.m. to like 5 p.m. I only went one day but I was in there from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I was in there all day long just like literally looking for everything the only reason i left early is because i was exhausted but if i wasn't 
tired, I literally would have stayed in there from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Like I would have stayed all day long because there's a lot to see, a lot of people to meet, a lot to do. I highly, highly recommend going and checking that out if you are a brand owner or trying to be a brand owner, you know, here soon. You can learn a lot. Or if you have a store or, you know, whatever, if you're trying to buy, then also go there because you can find a whole lot of new products, um, you know, and feel the quality versus buying it online. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just like so much inspiration within that building. It's absolutely insane. I know I got very inspired going there. Um, it's gonna, you'll definitely see some stuff that I noticed. I mean, you won't see it, but like some stuff that I, I seen, I'm like, oh, I'm about to do that for sure. Like, let me do that. Like 100% learned a lot from this event and uh, definitely look forward to going back and having a booth to be able to sell wholesale. I mean, that just makes the most sense. Make money on the trip instead of lose it. You know, come on, what am I saying? But yeah, I mean, other than that, like that's how the event ran down. It was a very cool event. Very excited I got to go and be a part of it. Uh, I look forward to, to new events to come. Um, and I will definitely show y'all more within the next one. Sorry, I couldn't show you too much of this one. I just didn't want to, you know, I just didn't want to take away anyone's privacy. But yeah, if you learned anything from this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. And I'm going to make some more videos in this, more videos like this soon. So let me know what you want to see down below and I'll see you on the next one.